What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into, um, not this. We about to get into Carlissa. She has some things to say pertaining to Junior, girl. Let's get it. I think it's really, 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 really the saddest thing in the world that people that are misunderstood or you might be getting misinformation that will hop on the internet on Sunday and wish people unalive, wish people death, wish people ill will, especially people who have a direct connection to God. Like I just, I, I could not imagine if I seen one of my kids talking like that. It's reckless, it's dangerous. You have children at home, you have mothers it's at Joel home. Angela. Wishing ill will on somebody because you might not understand them is, it's insane. It's just, it's pure disgust. I'm not going to wish no ill will back on you. I'm going to rebuke it in the name of Jesus like I've been doing. And good luck with your hands. Good luck. Because just because you don't understand what I'm going through over here about learning and hearing y'all speak these diagnoses over the grandbaby, y'all say this, y'all say that. This is my first time ever seeing anything like that in my life. And although I will continue to pray, I will not wish nothing bad on her. I don't hate her that that's that this is what it is. I, I don't have that in my spirit to do. Am I angry? Am I hurt? Absolutely. Wouldn't you be? About what? If you just saw your grandbaby and people are saying all these things and the whole time we all, okay, maybe it is, maybe it ain't, we not sure. And it's like, okay, you have to accept it. That's what... That's how it's going to come out. That's what it is. I would have liked to, uh, uh, whatever, whatever the case may be. I'm tired of hearing everything from y'all. I'm tired of y'all <clears throat> judging how I perceive it. How I asked, um, I was on Twitch today and I asked my people, should I, you know, even address anything going on with Krishan Jesus? And I'm going to just say no. Um, and I won't, first of all, it ain't for me to address it, you what would I be addressing? You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'ma just say y'all ain't gonna ever hear me say anything about anything concerning him outside of there he is, he's with his mom. That is it. That is all. It's too mm -mm. it's too I don't mm -mm for me. Okay. So that's where we're gonna go with that. <clears throat> we perceive it, we doing the best we can with a situation that we did not know was going to be in our life. We're doing the best we fucking can, okay? And the mere fact that we haven't turned cold or hardened our hearts or become evil is the grace of God. And he is with each and every one of us because we deal with this every day. Y'all just get on here and talk about it. Say with it what you feel, how you feel, all this, all that. You're the ones that are chasing clouds. We're, just, we're, we're literally just, just hoping and praying that it all turns out, okay? We don't need the clout no more. We didn't already cash the checks. We didn't already went down the road. Mr. Sappho already had a retirement plan set up for me. The, this little extra that came with it was a blessing. Yes, it was. But, baby, we don't need no clout off no babies, especially not no babies that we got to sit here and pray for forever. We got to pray for them all, but now we, we finding out stuff. Just like you finding out. Y'all sending me stuff. I don't know if you sending it with good intentions or bad intentions. But what I will say is that me posting my grandkids, my other grandkids, is because I got permission from their mom. It's because me and Jaden have reconciled because me and my son have come to an agreement. Me and Jaden are not, we're not besties. We don't talk and hang out and kick it yet. We're on a healing journey. Yeah, what we have done with the <laughs> healing journey is agreed, each party, was to never allow one of y'all to disturb that again. You see what I'm saying? So that's the difference. So when you get mad when I post them, you get mad when I say I love them, now I'm clout chasing. I just saw it. So my initial reaction was just to let her know that I love him. It, regardless of what y'all saying, how he look, what's wrong, what ain't wrong, what's right, I don't know. My first initial reaction was to let 
him and her know I love him regardless. I've been saying that. I'll wear a helmet with him. Y'all go and make all these. I'll wear a helmet with him is so condescending, bro. It is. She don't understand how rude that is, but whatever. Different things so that y'all can keep commotion going between us. And it only hurts the children. But that, no like, more. Like, that's not going to allow you to see him. No more. Jonathan's kids, Callie's kids, Dre's kids, my stepkids, no more. Me and Jaden have taken an oath. Whether we f with each other or not, that will not f with our, my grandkids. That will not determine their future. That will not determine their health their village or their outcome. So if y'all go tell Jaden right now, I said, F them kids, guess what she gonna say? Oh, well, that's their grandmammy. They wanna be around her, that's on them. You know why? Because she knows in her heart of hearts, just like Krishan knows. I love my mother kids. I don't think Krishan know that. She don't know that. I'll wear a helmet with him is condescending and disrespectful as hell. To the core of my mother soul. I don't go to sleep, I don't wake up, I don't take a mother nap without one of them kids or all of them kids on my heart and, in, and me and God, okay? I don't live, I don't go around here jumping in my Range Rover, hitting corners on y'all. Like no, no, no. I'm a grandma. I love my babies. Always have. So that if y'all want to keep stirring that pot for Junior, Junior, keep stirring up that pot for him as you want to. His grandmammy, you don't want me to be his grandmammy. You want me to love him. You don't want me to love him. All you want is a story. Shame on you if y'all still following pure hell. And you know pure hell when you see it. Dad, 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 dad. Because children of God do not wish evil on each other. We do not do that pure hell when you see it. You playing dumb. You're playing dumb and you're following this page and you're following that page and they talk about these kids and they talk about those kids. That's okay to talk about the kids, but don't start trying to divide and conquer. If you want to talk about this grandkid or that grandkid, I'm going to still make sure that they cash your check. And I'm going to personally make sure that they live a great life and you get to watch it, okay? So you can continue to talk about them. Like I told my kids, I don't give a who talking about you? But don't try to do the divide and conquer between the children. All you trying to do is set everybody further and further apart. You a trumper. That's what you are. You got hate in your heart. You're miserable. <clears throat> She's no better. I'm not going to lie. I'm not with her on this one. Like, if I was the mother <clears throat> and she's my mom or, or whatever, or uh, however it go, and you talking about my child, I'll wear a helmet with him, would have got you a helmet. Literally. Like, ain't no way in hell you about to, like, play with me like that. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into it. You are not about to play with me like that. And for some reason, she think it's okay to play like that. And that's, I don't like that. It ain't, whatever God's blessings is for each individual, you talking about me or talking about them ain't finna stop. Not a mother thing. I'm gonna work on my cussing. I am, Lord knows I am, but I, I, I'm who I am. And this how I'm gonna teach it to y'all, okay? So you can keep on trying that divide and conquer. But those those children that I raised that know me, whether they talk about me like a dog or not, they know the truth. They got y'all f***ed up, but they ain't f***ed up. You see the mother went right to jail and said, give my mama my kids if you need a break. You got damn right. Okay, them mother f***ers I raised know me. Know me to the core of my soul. Know I'll pull up to that jail and snatch him right the on out of there if I feel like it. Okay? So now that I'm working on cussing and I'm dropping four more Fs. So what we not finna do is keep doing that divide and conquer shit. It ain't gonna work with me and Jaden. Y'all can keep playing that demonic shit on Krishan until she see that y'all witches and demons if you want to. But try it again with me and Jaden. Try it again with me and Katie. Try it again with me and Callie. Try it again with me and my grandkids that's over here. Okay? Bet you won't do it. Bet you won't get it done again. I bet you won't get it done again. Cause soon that mother went behind that door and them things clink clink. 
when you need a break, give my mama my kids. You goddamn right, because he know I'm going to provide every, no happiness and that joy, because he was raised with it. That motherfucker knew exactly where to send his cheering when he couldn't do it. Okay, when he couldn't come home and say, Daddy got a dollar for you. Daddy here. He said, take them over my mama's. They'll never know I'm gone. You goddamn right they won't. So y'all can keep playing with her because I don't know her. I don't know Krishan. I've seen her maybe a handful of times in my life. She don't know me. I don't know her. Y'all can play them games on her. But you can't play them games on Callie. You can't play them on Blue. And you can't play them on Dre. You know why? Because them mother watch me damn near sit right there in a cell with them to protect them from sitting in that mother cell took one to the dome and what one to the knee and one to the cap and i still don't regret it and i still show them love and i still send them money and i still send their kids money and i still make sure shit is all right so you can keep playing if you want to y'all gonna fuck around and that's gonna land on you too and if y'all following them pages that's doing that demonic shit and you sitting up there laughing with them, you can't kill me. You can't wish death upon me. You should know that by oh, now. Oh, she talking about that. You should see what that'll bring. Don't you see it already? The last mother who wished death on me? Before you wish death on one of God's children, baby, you gonna wanna die. You gonna wanna die yourself. You know why? Because I ain't did nothing but try to help each and every one of them. I told that lady, I said, don't go over there f***ing with that lady and that man about, and, and, and destroy that family. She ain't even been with no another man yet. God might not approve of that. But what you can do is steal some of my son. I told her, I said, take that nigga for his clout and his money right now. But don't go over there messing with that lady and her kids. I told that girl. And I tell y'all time and time again, and don't none of y'all, when the baby was a boy, I told you when the baby was coming, I gave you damn near a birthday on the goddamn money. Okay? <laughs> My son know I know these she things. Did. You know why? Because I don't play with people. You gonna get on here and, tell, and, and, and keep on trying to tell this lady some mess. And she in a motel with the baby. What the f is wrong with y'all? I would have flew down there, put her up in the Airbnb, and told her to f what y'all talking about. No, y'all steady want to cause. The I ain't vision. gonna lie, Krishan. I don't know why she in a hotel, which costs more than the Airbnb. So, I... because you're full of, you bit and you're really truthfully jealous. You're really truthfully, honestly jealous. Oh, yeah. you know, oh. But I bet you this right here. Oh, Blue don't f with you. He don't. F but you, your son don't like you, but you know what? That mother made sure them kids was up over here. You know why? Because he know what, they ain't going to miss me if they over my mama house. Because my mama going to give them all the love I give them too. Let me block me some help because she still ain't learning. I screenshot this mother so I can block you on everything I own. <laughs> Even my, and if you on my Patreon, you can take your five ninety nine and kiss my ass over there too. <laughs> Yo, she is aggravated. Now who else wants some of Debo? <laughs> who else wants some of Debo? I don't need no DNA test. You know why I don't need no need no DNA test? Because I don't need no DNA test with none of my mother kids you know why because the lord told me in my I stop asking me about that goddamn dna test when i done already told y'all the mother kids was mine shit <laughs> lucifer sent y'all yeah <coughs> she was not having a good life today what's gonna happen next i just didn't tell y'all what was gonna happen when they got it. who know Service all messed up. This is a new house because this is a different tub. Oh, Lord, I right. Who else the f wants some of Debo? <laughs> she 
she has every right to be pissed. I'd be pissed if my grandbaby was f***ed up because of an egg donor. I am not mad at her. That's her journey and her baby and her life. I am hurt. Yes, absolutely. That in my son. That Yes, absolutely. Wouldn't you be? Anybody with common sense would be like, oh, damn. You know, I have plans for all my grandkids. You know what I'm saying? And it, yeah, it's okay. I might have to bring a helper to help along. But it's not what you expect. No. And it hurts your heart. Yes. But that don't mean that I'm going to love them any different. Girl, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, they want a DNA test worse than me, better, worse than I do. It, don't you think I will be the first mother telling the Lord right now I needed proof? I needed DNA. Don't you think I, that would have been the first thing I said to him? I told you he came to me in a dream in my sleep and he told me that the little boy was mine. He put a pain in my in my pelvis and the pain stayed there until he came out. I now know what that pain meant. Okay, God don't play with me. Not not now, bit. I ain't gonna never lie on the Lord. That's exactly what he said. I woke up in the morning and I laid off for her. I said, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna be as mad because she is gonna be in my family forever. I gotta relax. I gotta figure this thing out. I wasn't planning on that. I was running around here saying, Lord, I know you ain't gonna play with me like that. I, that's what I was saying. But then when he said, yeah, I'm gonna play with you. You think I won't? I'm gonna what? test you through and through. I had to accept that test. What was now, the test? Now, the Lord told me in a dream about all my kids, what in the hell is a DNA gonna do but tell me, tell y'all? Because I already know. I don't know who Ronnie is, I, I, but I can tell you that that's my grandbaby. I know who all my kids is. They couldn't mix them motherfuckers up in the hospital. I know them. Child. Well, this ain't no different. Carlos is still saying the same thing she been saying. Um, I don't know, y'all. When it comes to Junior, uh, <clears throat> Jesus, uh, I don't think she gonna ever see her grandchild. Okay? If I was Krishan, I would never take him either. We don't believe in karma over here. We children of Jesus Christ. Do you know what that means? That means that we got an automatic pass to kick your ass. <laughs> the fuck? We don't know karma over here. We children of God. We don't know no karmans. <laughs> don't y'all see that by now? We've been doing this for three years. Y'all still waiting on my karma. Got me in the goddamn doctor's office every time I go questioning the Lord. And then that mother come from behind there and say, no, ma'am, you're, you're just as young as you were when you were 15. Your blood pressure good, your cholesterol great, and, and, and your diabetes ain't never coming. Keep doing what you're doing, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. Every time y'all wish something on me, all you do is wish it on yourself or either the people you on here fighting for. Because, honey, baby. I ain't did nothing but try to love each and every one of these motherfuckers, okay? And that's what I'm going to continue to do. I don't got to like them, but I do love them. And I don't know that girl. Y'all keep trying to make it like this is my responsibility. I don't know her. I raised Jaden uh, since she was 13 years old. I know her. I know what month or period come on, what day. I know when she cranky. I know when you know, my nerves are. I already know if Callie on her period, don't go over there asking her no questions that you would normally not ask on her period. Okay. Because you might have to fuck her up. I already know these kids. Literally. All right, y'all. Yeah, we, you know she's going to keep saying the same thing over and over again, but I don't think she's going to ever be able to see him. Um, she'd be fine. 
because clearly she's not changing anything. So it is what it is. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.